Welcome to Holsworthy Live where it's 12 p.m. at night and that's because we've got the breaking news that Donald Trump has just banned all Muslims from five countries where there's not that much of an inflow of immigrants anyway. <laughs> and everyone just went nuts. Uh, yeah. Why does everyone care so much about Pirate Cove aka Somalia? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back to the real issue. Ivory Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the biggest issue? It's definitely that not. That is a very just... specific campaign that you have a gripe on Donald Trump and he said, We should have banned our Muslims. And you're like, Talk about the Ivory Coast. <laughs> Why are we banned then? Why is it still named the I'm Ivory not, Coast? Not, I'm not, it's, it's not... Their deals on Ivory are it's... outrageous. It should be at least 20% less than that. <laughs> I knew I Donald agree. Trump sits there listening to every word of that. Mm -hmm. It's I'll huge. It on board. It's huge. <laughs> That's huge, huge, huge. Yeah, no, I just think it's funny to say that I've heard the words Ivory Coast because there's a country called Ivory Coast. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that contribution, Bislam. <laughs> AKA, you are a map of the world that just has one country on it <laughs> and the words at the top did you know $27 please did you go there to the Ivory Coast yeah, yeah I'd go there damn why would you go there so would I I'd go why wouldn't you go there? yeah <laughs> it's a land full of ivory and ladies I don't like yeah, the idea well it is right 50% of the population has to be ladies. I'm guessing there's some ivory there. <laughs> Left. Oh, oh, so Ali, like, why? Why did he ban the Muslims? And how come he didn't... Why didn't he touch Saudi Arabia then? Hmm? Yeah. Mm, I think it boils down to when he was 10 years old and got molested by a Muslim man. <laughs> is this your... Yeah, man. Is this your baby. theory? Come here, baby. Do you know this, baby? Okay. I'm just acting it out. Can you not oh, act that out, please? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was wondering. You know what else? Because that was, you know, you know this part of your leg here. <laughs> that is a no-go zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> how creepy is that? Oh. <laughs> that is creepy. Um, okay, how so is that I, I know Mislo has some really cool questions about the Muslim ban. Mm -hmm. It's it's not really a Muslim ban anymore because they couldn't actually put a Muslim ban because that would have been like way too unconstitutional for them to do. <laughs> so the ban is right now in like five countries: mm -hmm. um, Iraq, Syria, Sudan, Somalia, and Iran. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Somalia. Cheek, cheek. Cheek. Yeah. Can I just chuck in a hilarious one like? Chad. <laughs> What's so hilarious about it? It's a guy's name. I just feel like that's... Everyone knows you're Chad, right? It's a fucking character I feel like, from uh, American Pie. I feel like... <laughs> Chad. I feel like that's a hilarious country. Maybe not. I think there's a lot of sorrow from Chad. Really? I don't think that there's much lightheartedness from that area. Isn't it Central it Africa? Central Again, <laughs> this is this is just the pits of YouTube, isn't it? People <laughs> vaguely guessing where a country is. No, it and vaguely guessing what constitutes the country. Like, what is it even about, you know? I shouldn't be here. <laughs> shouldn't be. Sorry, man. Just, just ignore me. Okay, okay so um, these five countries, two types of ban. Blanket ban on refugees. <laughs> and also a 90-day... Um, sh like lockdown of issuing any visas or any migrants. So like if you are, if you've got anything to do with these countries. Also, if you're like their version of permanent resident, which they call the green card. <laughs> so like if you've got a green card, but like you're originally from Iraq and have been living in America for like six years and we're happy and we're like vacationing in Fiji, you can't go back to America. Really? Yeah. Yes. That's, at least there's a hilarity factor, right? That's hilarious. <laughs> dude, that's not like this dude. What you, why is that hilarious? No, it's terrible, but like, like, dang. Like, where do you want me to go? Back to Iraq? I haven't been there in 10 years. But dang, that's like a, that's such a sitcom scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, where do I go? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 years from now, it's known in history books as Trump's and stay out policy. You know <laughs> Unless um, you've eaten, you know, a couple of those, um, like, 
da- I don't know what they call the, like the, you know those things you get the Easter like Pluto pops that you get at the Easter show the deep fried hot dog with tomato sauce. You unless can you, forget unless you, everyone's <laughs> thrown that up on the tour of the world, haven't they? <laughs> unless you've eaten at least four of those in the last month, it's like you're out. <laughs> <laughs> This man. He you just turn it into that bad. That'd be amazing. I'd be yeah, sick. start seismic sick. earthquakes on LA so it actually becomes in that movie Escape from LA and dumps everyone in there who hasn't thrown up from a Pluto pop on it. You're only Miriki. Yeah. It's so similar. Uh, so what else do we know about this? Is it, it, God, you're a pig. <laughs> So Especially man. because the first thing he said when he walked in here is, Oh, Christ, that shit's one chicken stew and something terrible to my back. Can I get your bathroom? Uh, I think I am embodied by a 52-year-old man from Jersey. Like an Italian man. like, hey, what are you talking about, Jimmy? You know, I got 12 plasma TVs in the garage. Why would you buy some new ones, eh? <laughs> I'm just side yeah, All of them are just watching the game. And even if there's not that many games going on at the same time, he's like, I, I taped a 92 game with the Steelers. <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers. Shout out Pittsburgh Steelers. But I'm, yeah. yeah I, why do you I, give a shit about them? Because that is a time for another time. But yeah, yeah tell us more. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if, so, I think the, the primary reason, so he hasn't included some of the countries that he promised he would. Also, all of these five countries that he has banned, there hasn't been a single terrorist attack perpetrated by any of these nationalities since 1975. All of the people... Do for another one. <laughs> Europe, though. Yes, Miss Love, Europe. Just though. saying. There, there have been, like, terrorist attacks within America. They just haven't been from these countries. So the last one was Florida, right? Yeah. And which was by, like, an... Afghani. A citizen. No, he was a citizen. Yeah, he was yeah, a citizen. Yeah. Which is like the whole hypocrisy of this whole thing. Yeah. Like, you, there's, there's no guarantee that it'll be immigrants. Yeah. He just wanted to like fulfill a campaign promise. It was a political. It was a political Do tactic. Do you think yeah. that that's a genius political tactic though? Because I'm of the opinion that it is. <laughs> no, it's 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 oh. not genius at all. Just because. I don't think this is going to survive very long. I don't think that even Trump wants it to survive very long. He's actually put it in so that he can say that, you know, I fulfilled my campaign promise. All those people that got me elected, here's something for you. Um, it's great. Is he can bounce it back and go, Shim Kubuk Judge. Yeah. Because like, actually, yeah, that's what it's. I don't even know how this is gonna properly work out because a federal judge just recently, like. Fresh news. Yeah, he um, banned. He, he, overturned, yeah, he, over, he overturned. No, he did overturn. So all of those people that were detained within um, airports at this moment that were basically flying back or something, because the people that are the immigration department doesn't really know. They just know by watching CNN that an executive order has been passed. So they don't exactly That's know how to right. deal with it. It just happened. Also, how cool is this, man? After this, after the executive order, like spontaneous protests throughout the airports, yeah. which obviously is a huge pressure tactic, and and like that's the reason why the federal judge probably got like freaked out, and then he. But I don't understand why that's such a big issue for Trump. He's in for the next four years. Yeah. He's been freshly minted in for a week. If everybody's sitting there going, "Is that outrageous?" And you go, "Yeah, we well, did." did. How do you like this, eh? He's my, he's my counter offer. I told you I was a good negotiator. Why, why does that matter not. to him? No, it matters to so him because good. he wants to, like, dude, since the day of his inauguration, he is being attacked by citizens of America. So he wants to cement his base, saying that, you know, it's yeah. not that everyone hates me. There's a lot of people that like me. And the way that they're going to continue liking him is if he fulfills his camp, uh, election campaigning. He couldn't have put an outright Muslim ban. He couldn't even have gone for countries like Saudi Arabia, which is not included in this list. 14 out of the 18 9-11 hijackers were from Saudi Arabia. The rest of them were from Egypt and Lebanon, also not included in this list. Primarily think- because it would have been way more difficult to put them on the ban. It's easier to put failed states like Somalia <laughs> and do you- Chad. Do you think it might have been... You know, there is hypocrisy there, but it would, it would probably have been unwise to put Saudi Arabia on a Absolutely. Dude, it's but, unwise but it is... to put the whole thing, because, man, this whole thing, 
he thinks that it's going to cement his base and yes yeah, sure it may for like a brief period but this is only going to create more problems I'm surprised he even did it I'm not surprised I knew that he would he would do certain things I well he's already made clear that he was gonna do this I don't know why this is a surprise he just because initially when he said that he wanted to put a Muslim ban there was a lot of people that said that was unconstitutional and eventually people within the Trump administration came out with this alternate plan which is what's happening now which is to like ban certain reasons it's a gray area it's not necessarily legal but there's ways in which Trump can prove that it is legal so he just did that and he got hold of these countries he couldn't do Saudi Arabia because it's not bison well he just basically just didn't want to piss off people that were very powerful and American interests yeah, yeah. were like dependent on them mm. also he didn't want to mess with he didn't want to put Afghanistan there not because that they're very important mm -hmm. or rich but because there's a Americans have to continuously go to Afghanistan there's a whole war going on it would be horrible to disrupt diplomatic ties in case Afghanistan had the boss actually say something to America which they may have yeah um, he didn't want to mess off he didn't want to piss off the, the Pakistanis just because even though the last terrorist like the second last terrorist was by a Pakistan he didn't want to mess with them because it's way bigger than Iraq or Libya it's 200 million people and then again same thing business interests mm -hmm. American business interests there so your main gripe with Trump's executive order is that it didn't go far enough. <laughs> no, my gripe is, by showing you that it didn't go far enough, is to show that this whole thing was a... If it was actually effective, if he was actually trying to get some results off of it, I would have understood it, but this whole thing is just a PR stunt to, to basically shut up his Fox News supporters that mm. were just really pumped up on the Muslim ban. And all of the things that he... So did, your gripe is that he's a good publicist. What do you want from Dick? My gripe <laughs> is that he is only a, a publicist at this point. He like he is his battle is with the media. The news is about the media. So like the, the only thing that he was obsessed about after his inauguration was the crowd size. Have you seen that MSNBC interview? Mm. If you guys haven't seen it, it's crazy. Like the li on the fifth. We won't day, link it to you. You know how to use YouTube. Yes. So like on the fifth uh, on the fifth day. The first interview, it's supposed to be like, you know, a one on one with the president to show like he's been elected, what a nice man he was. But dude, Trump was like completely obsessed with the inauguration crowd size and he was like, let me, let me take you somewhere. He goes to like a place within the White House to show a picture of the inauguration there and he's showing the MSNBC reporter, look how big the crowd is. It goes all the way back. They, they did release a, a fake a, a image that did not represent the entire population of the people there. No, irrespective, like I don't care how many, maybe there was like a billion people there, but what I'm yeah. saying is that on that particular interview, he shouldn't have been obsessed by that, yeah. which means that all he thinks about is his media perception. Yeah, yeah. Even the news is about media, it being like CNN being fake news and BuzzFeed. There's no news, the news is the media, and the media is reporting themselves because Trump is, re it's just, it's yeah. crazy, what's really happening? That's amazing. Inception. This guy's a genius. Inception. It, this guy is like this guy has made the media cannibalize in on itself. <laughs> and you know what's amazing at this point? Now everybody's so obsessed with trying to figure out what's fake news and what isn't. My Instagram guy, he's seventeen. What a genius! So so precocious for his age. <laughs> he made this observation: all news is fake news. None of it's real. It all has a slant to it, That's right? True. And it's amazing yeah. that now every single media outlet, because Trump is just pointing out that a couple of bullshit, the clearly bullshit <laughs> ones like BuzzFeed and CNN, mm. right? It's so good that that has now devolved into every single media outlet trying to defend that it's real. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it, it's that interesting. Right. It's interesting that it's like you know every every news outlet's accountable now, and they have to really have like legitimate uh, ways of proving that they're, <laughs> that they're actually like, act, you know, reporting real information and, and stuff that isn't just hearsay and bias. But I think most of it is fake. Uh, like you said, everything has an inherent it, bias. Like, you know? I, should, I should probably mention that initially, I know fake news means like a lot of things now, but initially fake news, fake news wasn't necessarily biased news. Mm. Like Fox News wasn't fake news. Yeah, but that's what's was great about that Trump. were making completely fake stories and pushing them on the internet to get as many clicks as yeah. they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onion and all that kind of stuff. Who dove? Yeah. I'm assuming good work.